Electrons, the life force of most modern technology. But harnessing these device-powering particles isn't easy. Even in our most efficient conductors, like copper and gold, electrons flow erratically. They scatter and bounce off of impurities and other electrons, losing energy as heat in the process. This heat dissipation drains the amount of energy available to our electronic devices. Electron in solids typically move like a race car but in a random and crowded marketplace. So the energy you originally give it to the car or the electron actually gets very quickly dissipated. But imagine for a moment a material through which electrons flow in a perfectly uniform single file line, like this. No scattering, no heat dissipation, perfect efficiency. Now imagine a world of devices constructed from just such a material. A single charge might power your smartphone for a week rather than a day. Electric cars might drive for much greater distances without having to stop. The existence of conductors like this seemed impossible until Charles Kane, Eugene Mali, and Su Sheng Zhang showed us that it wasn't. In 2004, at the University of Pennsylvania, Charles Kane and Eugene Mali were puzzled. A newly discovered supermaterial called graphene had the scientific community abuzz with excitement for its many potential engineering applications. We knew a lot about graphene. Around 2004, it became very much prime time activity. What captured their imagination, however, was the way electrons behaved within the material. Graphene was commonly thought to be neither a conductor nor an insulator, but something strange, something exactly between the two. Kane thought otherwise. So what I realized when I thought about it, that as a matter of principle, as a matter of symmetry, graphene should be a insulator. So what makes a conductor a conductor anyway, and an insulator an insulator? Insulators insulate because the electrons occupy orbits that are locked to the atomic nuclei. Conductors can conduct because the electrons occupy orbits that allow them to freely move between atoms in the material. Kane and Mali set out to construct a mathematical model proving that graphene was an insulator, and along the way discovered something unexpected. Their equations began to suggest the possibility of a material we've never seen before. It's fun picking up puzzles and being able to solve them. Using math peers describe as beautiful, Kane and Malie constructed a model of a material in which electrons would spin and orbit in a fascinating way. The interior was an insulator. The electrons were locked to their nuclei. But on the surface, things were different. Electrons there would flow, uniformly, in single file lines, unimpeded by surface impurities, perfect electrical conduction. They called it a topological insulator. I realized that I really was thinking about, uh, you know, a new phase of matter. The problem was, this model was not graphene. In the end, the world would have to wait for its first perfect conductor, but Kane and Malie proved it could exist the search was on. There are two steps uh, to discovery, from discovery to invention. 2006, 3,000 miles away at Stanford University, Su Sheng Zhang barbecued with family, running thought experiments on potential topological insulators as he grilled. So after barbecue, uh, where I actually also had some guests over, I started to sink deeply <laughs> into my own thoughts. <laughs> While his guests chatted about family and friends, Zhang let his mind drift into a daydream where electrons whirled around protons and neutrons in an elaborate atomic dance choreographed by the equations of Kane and Mali. And that is when, when it clicked to me. Mercury telluride, an element a colleague had been working with recently, Zhang stole back to his lab and began penning one of the most significant papers he'd write. He had found it the world's first perfect conductor. The discovery opens the door to a world of new possibilities for engineers. Without heat dissipation, new smartphones could retain battery life for long periods of time. And some physicists predict that topological insulators could revolutionize computing itself by paving the path for quantum computers, machines that could allow for near limitless storage 
and computing speeds orders of magnitudes greater than our computers today. I, well, I often am lying awake thinking about physics at 2 o'clock in the morning. That's, I have a habit of that. <laughs> so I think uh, very early on, I was just driven by the beauty of both mathematics and physics. That uh, there's this uh, beautiful deductive system that out of few simple, beautiful and universal principles, you can deduce everything else. Success, so problems it falls together, things link together in ways they haven't linked before. When you find that, that's just enormously fun. And so that's, you know, that's why I do it. Mm -hmm.